Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. Today I want to take a couple seconds to show you guys how exactly to go in your transmission on a two-wheel two -wheel drive slash from Traxxas. Uh, one of the easiest ways I found it works for me. Um, that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Now, just in front of your shock tower, usually where your wires from your motor comes out, there's two screws. And I don't know if you guys can see them. They're right here. I have one removed for the moment. I did start a little bit. And you're going to remove these two screws here. And put them aside. Now there's another one here that I removed already. Underneath here, there's two more here too. Already have removed one already. Once you remove it, you'll see that your frame will split in two. Now we'll take this part, put it aside. Now, once you have your physical back end in your hands, this, this is where you're going to start dismantling certain stuff without creating a lot of, uh, of parts. Basically, what I do, start by removing the rear bumper of the vehicle. Now, some will show you removing the wheels, removing the shocks, removing this, removing that. I don't remove the wheels off the vehicle. Uh, they physically stay there. Start removing the back that holds the bumper to the transmission case on the back here you'll notice there's two screws one long one and one short one you'll need to remove the uh, short and long you might need a pair of pliers to go get it Now there's the one with the motor here. That's being a little bit stubborn. There we go. Now the rear bumper comes off, put that guy, that guy aside. Now you do have two more screws right here. That holds the shock tower to the transmission mount. One's a little bit hard to see here. Not sure if you guys could see that, but there's two. Basically, what I would suggest is follow the body mounts where there's screw on the shock tire, and you'll see the two screws right here. What I, what I do to this point, I leave them there. And what I do is... The two other screws that are right here, I put them back there. The ones that was holding the chassis. That way I don't lose my uh, any parts. Now the two other screws you'll remove is this one and this one. Now, if you notice, I did not remove the motor either. Now, these guys, you'll need some pliers to be able to remove them. As they are kind of pressure fitted there. Now, once this is done, 
you will need a 1.5 to remove the axles. And again, I put them back in their hole. And I take the complete assembly and put it aside. Now what we have left is basically the main brace that attaches the transmission to the uh, chassis. Now we'll remove all these four bolts here. The other thing that you could do too, grab the two long ones and put them back on the physical uh, arms. These are what holds the back bumper, not this one. And then we'll need these four big ones here. If you guys have you ever have any questions, things like that, you can reach me at on the uh, Facebook. Take a look for the group DJs PRC, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. If I don't answer your question, one of my admins will be able to answer you guys, or even somebody in the group might be able to answer you. Now, once these four screws are removed, again, I take them, put them back on the mat where they came from. Put it aside. Now we'll remove the spur cover. Again, same thing. That way you're never looking for your screws and you don't end up with uh, where this screw used to be. <laughs> now remove the, T, the two bolts that holds the motor. Now you'll notice this guy here, if you try to remove it further, the spurs in your way. But what I do, I just let the motor come down and put these guys aside and you're almost done to be able to open your transmission. And I'll leave this one right here. You could, if you wanted to, removing the spur. Now, in this case, is to show you guys how to get inside the transmission to be able to change your idler gear uh, or any other gears you might have damaged inside. We're going to leave this guy here and we're going to do all these six screws. You could use a power drill if you wanted to or do it the old school way like I'm doing right now. Now you can check out to my other channel, Make It Scale RC. Description is in the bio. And we're almost done here.
Now don't worry to mix these screws or they're all the same length. You can't really mix them up. Now, once you remove all six screws, what I do is put a little bit of pressure of on the uh, output shaft and prying up at the same time. What that does keeps the uh, transfer case, uh, diff case inside, should I say. Now, be careful when you do opening this gear cover, you do have small uh, shims. Okay, they're right here. They're a kind of a vinyl shim, Teflon shim, should I say. Now, in your transmission, you'll have your diff, your idler gear is right here, the output shaft gear that's connected to the uh, spur. And when you turn everything over, and you see everything turns. Let's say you wanted to change the uh, idler gear. You just basically pull up. Again, there's a Teflon shim there too. Put this aside. Remove the bearing in the shaft and the other bearing on the side. Pop your new bearings or your new idler gear. And then put it back in the case. And just reassemble your case in back like the way it was. You take it up, took it up. Put your six screws back. And there you go, guys. If you guys have any questions or comment post them below i'll be gladly to answer you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up it's in the corner here it helps a lot in our rankings on youtube and i do appreciate guys too but if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down in the same corner too thank you guys enjoy